because the stream is basically starting right now. So let's see. I'm gonna see if I have a couple of you guys in the in the uh, in the chat menu. Ready to go. Hey, how are you guys doing? Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's good to see you guys. I am here with you and we are about to go on and start getting ready for the Razorback missions. So one of the first things we're going to do right now is, you know, just a quick uh, recap and, you know, see how everybody is doing. I started my new job yesterday. Well, I started on Monday, but I did some trainings the other day. So I wasn't able to put out those live stream uh, and, you know, well, a lot of those recap of death streams really quickly. So, but, you know, I was able to put it out later on yesterday, which is also a good thing. But it's good to see you guys are still here. So we're going to go on and try to get some of the components. So based on uh, the way the Razorback event is set, one of the things that you need is, well, you're going to get this Razorback cipher right here in your inbox. And of course, uh, Lotus is going to send you a message about this. So you're going to get this. And after you get this, you literally cannot build this until you go and farm cryptographic aluminum. So you have to go on some Arcwing missions to get this. And if you don't go on Arcwing, you literally cannot get it. So, yeah, that's one of those. That's one of those things. So, hey, how are you doing, Sart? So we're going to go ahead right now and try to farm some of the Razorback uh, things. So I'm going to invite people. Let's Let's see. Let's go ahead into yes so let me let me invite let me invite them so if any of you are online you know you can come ahead and join as well so that's that's it's wonderful to see you guys it's it's really wonderful so let me set it to oh you finished your exams that's awesome So I'm trying to see if I want to set it at invite only or set it as public. And let's see. Okay, received my invitation. So we're still looking right now and just waiting to go. We're going to go on Jupiter and we're going to go to Galilee or Galilee, whatever the name there it is pronounced. So that is where we are going to farm some of the cryptographic uh, aluminum. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. It's almost midnight. Oh, man, I'm sorry about that. All right. So, okay. So, someone is saying hello, YouTube. So, I'm sure everybody on YouTube is, you know, they can see you right now. You know, there you are. So, let us go ahead and we're going to jump into this. And hopefully, we're able to get it done as quick as possible because... One of the things that I've come to realize is that you have to pretty much farm this almost every single time. Now, for the last mission that I went on, I was able to get four per mission. So I'm assuming, you know, each mission is going to grant you four of them or, you know, regardless of how it is, you know, even if it only grants you two, we'll just run it multiple times. But I'm hoping that it will grant us more than just four. Now, I will say one of the things that DE did was they they made it so we have to go to Arcwing because Arcwing is one of those mission types that a lot of us really hardly ever play. So they're doing this to make sure. Oh, my God. I haven't played Arcwing in a long time. They're doing this to make sure that, you know, we all go into Arcwing and try to play some game modes in it 
Okay, I'm going the wrong way. So in case you're wondering, I am using the Amisha um, Arcwing. And I am using the Grattler as far as my weapons are concerned. Whoa. Oh, made it. Made it. Oh, shoot. All right. So we're going to go outside and we're going to try to... I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't played Arkwing in a long time. And as far as my controls, they're a little bit rusty. But we're going to get there pretty much by the end of this Razorback missions. We should be able to get there and get to where we need to go and do what we need to do. Alright, it's open. So basically this functions like any other sabotage missions we play in the regular game modes. Where we basically go ahead and, you know, pop the thing open and break it up and destroy them. So... It's not anything, you know, that much difficult. And I would say one of the reasons why I really didn't play Arcwing, is there a better way? Uh, I'm not quite sure. But one of the reasons why I didn't play Arcwing as much is because of the way Arcwing looks. And, you know, sometimes it makes you dizzy, you know, after they changed the way the controls functioned. I don't know. I still don't know and understand why DE did that. But since then, I really haven't played Arcwing as much as a lot of people do or did. You know, and, and you know, the controls are quite sloppy compared to what it was when they first introduced Arcwing. So which also, you know, remains one of the reasons why I hardly play him. And also one of the reasons why a lot of people don't even play Arcwing at all. And, you know, I remembered um, a couple of videos ago, I talked about how the rewards that you get in Arcwing is not that much. So that's why a lot of people don't play Arcwing like that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't play Arcwing as much as they play other game modes. So... That, that That is one of those things, and I'll be honest with you, if it wasn't for this event, I would not be playing Arcwing either, to be honest. I wouldn't. If it, if it wasn't for this event, I wouldn't be playing Arcwing at all. Hey, Benjamin, how are you doing? Good to see you, man. Uh, not, I'm not doing giveaways today. Not today. Not today. Um, maybe sometime in the future. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. We didn't get any. Okay. So let's go on. Let's go on one of those. Where's your left turn? Okay, let's see. Accept. So we're going to go on and try to see what is going on. Yes, it will be amazing thing to control the uh, the Lisette itself. Instead of actually controlling the, um, pretty much the Arcwing. But then if they give us that option, you know what? I think controlling the Lisette will be the best option when we have to leave the origin system and travel to another galaxy or another system so that might be that one time when we have to do that and you know possibly travel through the relay junctions like we've done in some of those junction missions yes we need tie fighters and x-wings and y-wing bombers And I'm going to be honest with you, after after this event, there's going to be a whole lot of huge tally when it comes to 
when it comes to Arcwing missions. Oh, okay, 10 to 15 each round. That's that is really good. I really appreciate it you guys you know help me out with this as of now oh you watching Prometheus on TV that's awesome Oh, you using the Itzel? Or you want me to use the Itzel? I think I have the Itzel as well. I just haven't picked it up in a while. And you know, like I said earlier, I haven't played Arcwing in a long time. Like, even if Arcwing had a certain kind of reward that I'm looking for or that I want, Arcwing was so boring for me. Come on, come on. It's funny how big this uh, Corpus drones are. There we go, there we go. So we have to go to the next one. Oh shit, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Now one of the things I'm trying to figure out is when it comes to um Arcwing, you know, of course we don't have Arcwing sidearms, but it would be very very much better. Okay. I'm going to let him know so that after this, I can invite him. And you guys, I'm telling you, I am really, really very, very excited for the, um, for the multiplayer capture scenes. Because one of my goal is that when that string, when that feature becomes available in Warframe, that I can actually have moments when we all take a screenshot together. All right, I am definitely 100% lost. All right. Okay, I'm supposed to go straight. There we go. There we go. I forgot that this is the road that we took when we played the Jordas mission. And, you know, I, I, I hope um, some of you guys, you know, don't have problems with you know seizures or any of those because I know our queen sometimes can be very very dizzy there we go there we go take them out Uh, my next stream after this will be tomorrow, and it, it will be uh, probably tomorrow evening. 
it will be probably tomorrow evening so I'm sorry I didn't respond to that really quickly Yes, I can. Uh, I'm I'm reading and looking at the. I have my phone on the side, and I pulled up YouTube on my phone, so I'm able to communicate with you guys. You know, because I don't want to. I don't want a just a monologue thing. I want to be able to have a dialogue with you, you know, and that that's pretty much one of the goals of this stream, so we can have much more of. You know, a marketplace of ideas, you know, where I can see you, we can communicate, we can talk more. Instead of you guys just talking and me just talking and nobody is understanding each other. So, yes, I can see you. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's go, let's go, let's try to, let's try to make it there. And I think one of, one of the things going on right now is I'm kind of falling behind when it comes to everybody else. Everybody else is like way ahead of me, just moving. And for me personally, I'm just staying here, just waiting. All right, I am here. Oh, okay. It, I understand, Raphael. You know, I know a lot of you, you know, had, you know, to rest, get some rest and all that kind of stuff. That's very, very understandable. I totally understand. So that's, that's fine with me. <laughs> as far as plats now I don't know if you were here the last dev stream I have zero plats as of now like it's not even a joke I can show you after this mission like I have zero plats and you know unlike a lot of people out there I am like my plat bank account is like empty alright Raphael we'll see you later Ooh, I got energy field. All right, let's get out of here. Move it. Okay, so somebody already made it there already. So it's the same route. And we are home free. There we go. Oh, it's okay. You know, whatever, whoever is in the game, you can send me an invite. I will definitely accept your invite, you know. Just send me an invite in the game. Um, my in-game name is... Let me type it in. Just go on into the game and, you know, look for me and you'll be able to find me, so. So... So we're just going to be waiting now to go on to the next one. And while we're waiting, let me go ahead and, you know, build a little bit more, much more. Because. Let 
let's see. So, okay, so we're building one more again. Uh, settings on Arcwing. Let me go. Let me see. Uh, let's. Yes. One sec. So let's. Let me see. Arcwing settings. So I'm going to go to mode and Arcwing and. You know what? One of you guys was talking about me using a different uh, Arcwing, and I have my Itzel right here. I haven't really used it as much, but um, let me see. That's my Odonata Prime, and as far as my mods on there, wow, I haven't. Okay, so I, I just got a augment for Odonata Prime. Superior defenses should recharge auxiliary power. Put that on there. Well, okay. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna end up maximizing and modding my Odonatas and all my arc wings. You know. Um well don't I wouldn't say you should sell your regular vault. If you already have your Nova Prime built, you might want to wait till you get like 12 plats and then you can um you can go ahead and buy some some spaces, you know, for your stuff. Because if you don't have Volt Prime, you must have Riz. Oh, okay. Cypher. I must equip Cypher. I, f I totally forgot about that. If you don't have space for other things, I wouldn't, you know, suggest that you go ahead and delete it. Because you might need it as well, so... You know you wanna you wanna be very very sure about that because like as you can see even in my own uh, foundry right here I have a whole lot of weapons that I haven't claimed yet mainly because you know I don't have enough you know I don't have plats to buy those things but you know as soon as I get plats we'll be we'll be good to go I'll just go ahead you know or oh, you already have Volt Prime. Well, that will be a decision up to you because, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, Volt Prime is better than Volt anyway, you know. So, yeah, you, you, you might as well just go ahead and get rid of uh, regular Volt because Volt Prime, you, you know, is a billion times better. So, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, get rid of that regular Volt, claim your, uh, claim your Nova Prime. Hey, how are you doing, Yanni? Good to see you on here. So we are going in here. We are going into the Razorback back mission. And, you know, it's all crazy because this mission started. This mission's It started way when I was at work. So... Well, all right, we got to unlock the doors. There we go. There we go. Oh, shoot. Made it, made it, made it. Who, who's, who's next? Okay, we're we're waiting for this guy right here and right now. Whoa, he's down. Let's go get him. Now nah, I'm using the build that I showed you guys on my last um on my last Nidus video. It's okay. It's okay. Let's make it. Let's make it. Before those Zanuka stuff jump in. All right. Good to see you back. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let me leech onto one of them while I go ahead and hack this door. All right. Whoa. I remember the last time I played one of these missions. It was it was crazy. Let's go. Let's move it. Come on. Get out of the way. I don't want to miss the Razorback fight. All right. Ooh, let, let me scan it. What? Come on. Wow. That is, that is giant. That is a really, really huge, really huge thing. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see what is going on in here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I, I got a chance. Come on, Versa, go down. Okay, why isn't this Bursa going down? Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, now I have to open the door again. Come on. I just opened that door. Damn it. Okay, we're going to have to have one uh, coordinated attack here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let me hack him really quickly. All right. All right, come on, come on, Bursa. Come on, Bursa. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Again, a couple of hits. Okay, let's go back. Um, okay, I, I'm sure that one right there, do we, have, okay, we have another Bursa. Okay, that Bursa right there is still stuck. I don't know what is going on with that. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm just gonna drop, like, two right here. Okay, you see that? Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's one of the good things about Nidus. You can leech onto an enemy and, you know, survive a little bit. Come on, Bursa. Come on. Come on. Come on, Bursa. See, these things would have been a little bit much easier if the game wasn't buggy as it is right now. Oh my god, come on. Come on, come on. Alright. Yeah, the next time we go, we're gonna definitely use a Loki.
Oh, okay, we already took him out. Why am I even still here? Let's try to get out of here. Whoa. I hate the fact that they can slow you down. That is ridiculous. But I guess, you know, it's essential for the game because that's one of the things that makes it a little bit much tougher and a little bit much harder to do. What? You wasted 893 plus for Darvo? Oh, you, you know what? I, I've been thinking about, as far as the stealth mechanics, one of the things that I was also looking at, I don't know if anybody remember this. I was talking about this a while back as far as Hydroid rework. If, there, if that is really going to be a thing for, you know. Oh, I got Gorgon Wraith receiver. If that was really going to be a thing, you know. As far as him being able to turn into a puddle of water and actually seep through behind doors or any of those. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. All right, the next one I'm bringing, I'm bringing Loki. Let's see. Where is my Loki? There you go. There's my Loki right there. And I am bringing my Tigris Prime. Yes, so I'm using my Tigris Prime. Okay. So right now, as far as the foundry is concerned, I only have, well, with the gear thing, I only have like two cryptographic aluminum. So after this, well, I have two Razorback ciphers. So after this, I can still, you know, we can still go and we just, you know, do that share thing back and forth. So, yes, so... Just just let me know when ready. This is this is this is really fun. Now I, I, I don't think I've bought anything from Darvo in a long time. I'll be honest with you guys. Because I really just I really just do not trust Darvo sales like that because if you really want to look at it some of the things that st that Darvo play, you know, sells in Warframe is basically things you can acquire for free or at a cheaper price or a cheaper rate. So when it comes to you really going ahead and, you know, just buying stuff from Darvo, it might be a waste of plats nine times out of ten. All right. Rax said he has... A Rhino Prime set for 600 platinum. Oh no. I mean, we all know Rhino Prime is coming out of. Um, what is it called? Coming out of the vault very soon. So, you know, as much as, you know, that that is a wonderful thing, you know, to be able to make some money selling stuff, you know. People got to, you know, look at some of their choices as well. That is quite high. Well, all right, let's just go. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Oh, there we go. There we go. So if you guys are just joining in, 
or you are just starting to play Warframe, welcome, welcome to the game, welcome to the stream. Um, potatoes, potatoes, how are you liking the game so far? I'm, I'm hoping that you're having fun and having some enjoyment time with Warframe. Well, all of us cannot say so, but you know, this game sometimes make us mad, but we still play it, so it's one of those things. All right, let's go. You know what? We'll do it one by one. So once that one comes down, come on, come on. There we go. All right, let's let's do this. Come on, move along, move, 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 move. Oh, no. No, you did not. Okay, are you going to take him down? Come on. There we go. Okay, we got another. Oh. Okay. It's all right. Thanks, Loki. Thanks, 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 thanks. Yeah, this 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 game is looking buggy right now. All right. So, we need to open another one. Do we have it unlocked? Okay, that one is out. Ooh, shoot. Okay, let me try to unlock that one really quickly. Oh, did I unlock it? Nope, I did not. Well, yeah, the changes to Blade Storm is one of those things where I believe they did those uh, Blade Storm changes because they don't want people to abuse the fourth ability. Which basically what they did, even though they make it seem like, you know, they made it better and all that kind of stuff. But in, in actuality, it is to reduce the amount of times that you can use Blade Storm and the amount of enemies you can take down with Blade Storm. Now, one thing I will say that I like about the changes to Ash is the fact that when you are using Bladestorm on an enemy, you can actually still get some kills as well. So, you know, a lot of other players are not just, you know, left in a situation where they have to, you know, wait till your Bladestorm animation is done before they can kill anything. There we go. One shot Tigris Prime. So what do you guys think about Harrow so far right now? Based on, you know, what they showed us in the death stream are you do you guys think you know harrow is a really promising frame and as far as his weapon that comes with him as well because i know i've been hearing a lot of people say you know harrow seems to be a frame that has abilities that other frames have or can do it better which makes him not that unique of a frame
Oops. There we go. Okay, Andre George said is OP overpowered. Um Cash 47 Bang, he would be great CC. Raphael said, I don't know, he's not that attractive. And Black Note said, I like Harrow. He when he swings is censored. So now I, I would say it's it's much of a mixed thing, you know, as far as the way Harrow plays. Now I will tell you though. As far as Harold goes, we really won't get to see, you know, or experience how good or bad he is. Oh, Hawkfang022 sent me something. Oh, that is a gift box. Oh, awesome, awesome. I really appreciate that, Hawkfang. I really appreciate it. That is really amazing. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for that. That is that is really amazing. I really appreciate that. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. All right. Let's see. Let's see. So, Gorgon uh, let's see. Yeah, how how good is even the the Gorgon Wraith when it comes to it being compared to um to the regular Gorgon? Okay, so let's see. Let me look at what weapons to claim first. I don't know. Do, do you guys want me to claim the Cycron first or claim the Halica? Which ones do you guys want me to claim first? Cycron or the Halica? All right. <laughs> okay, I claimed that one, and I'm gonna claim the. I just claimed the Halica as well. Thanks very much. I really appreciate that, Hulk Fang. Like that is really an amazing gesture. Thank you very much. You have a feeling that. Harrow will be another Titania. Hmm. You know what? That that is a really good that that is a um that is a really really interesting thing, you know, that you have there. He will be another Titania. Because um I remember when Titania was coming out, a lot of us I'm just gonna roll in with that like that. When Titania first came out, a lot of us, you know, had this huge thing like, oh yeah, you know, Titania is gonna be awesome. He's gonna be she's gonna be amazing. And then after playing Titania for a while, we just was like, nah, you know what? Titania is not that great. Uh, what is Razorback? Well, Razorback is. One of those, uh, well, it's a corpus proxy like the like the jackal. Now, the difference between the jackal and the razorback is that the razorback is a lot much powerful, and you actually need bursas to deactivate and take down razorback. So that's one of the big differences when it comes to them. But other than that, it's it's not that much of a you know hard thing. You know, as far as taking down the razorback, you can do it solo. I've seen a lot of people do it solo. And it, it is actually fun. It is fun. Not that hard or difficult. Oh, yes. And, you know, uh, one of the things we were talking about right here in the game is that, you know, Harrow's headshot actually helps him give buffs to 
himself and teammates on his third ability, which can also be quite interesting. You know what? That is a good question. Yes, and uh, thank thanks, Raphael, for answering that question. That I really appreciate you answering that question. That's good. All right, I will Razorback. I will def um well. Hawk Fang, I will definitely invite you when on the next one. Why did I bring Chroma to this mission? How stupid is this? Well, we're going to try to do it. Um... You know what, well, let's, let's go for B and C. Let's, let's, let's try to hit it and try to make it. So if you guys are just turning in or if you're just joining right now, we're going for sorties as of the moment. And we've we've played a couple of Razorback missions and uh, we've killed a couple of Razorbacks. So we're going for sorties right now. And I'm just going to tag along with the other teammates. I'm really not going to try to hack into anything if I can't, you know. So... So the target consoles... Wow, okay. All right. Definitely, definitely not going in there. So I'm just going to wait for... I'm Yeah, I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to let him go in. Okay. So I'm just going to stay out here. <laughs> Chroma speed equals my grandmother's speed. <laughs> so I'm just going to... I'm just going to wait out here and, you know, wait it out. Because I actually ended up bringing in the wrong frame. You know, I was going to pick uh, Loki. I don't know why I picked, went on and picked Chroma. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. You got You can do it. You can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Did you get it? Did you get it? Yes. Yes. You guys, you guys are amazing. <laughs> you guys are amazing. You guys are really amazing. That was like the last second. Man, you are you are the MVP. You know, getting that in the last second. Even though I came into this mission without doing anything. But we can say I I participated by actually motivating people. Oh, what are you guys fighting? Let me let me go back and see what is going on. Oh, by the way, in case you guys are new to Warframe, the Halika, which is this melee weapon, actually has a mechanic that is able to disarm enemies whenever you throw them. So So that that is one of those, you know. What exactly is going on is what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there we go. Here we go. I think I still like this skin, you know. 
and this combination better than I did the new uh, Chroma Deluxe skin. It looks nice and all, it has all this aggression on going on, but it's not as interesting as I was hoping for it to be. Ash Blade Storm still needs to be looked at. I will tell you that. It, it still needs to be looked at. Mainly because, you know, I will say that Blade Storm was done out of something you can, you know, see as like a spy situation. Because, you know, DE was so eager to do something about Ash and all that kind of stuff that they really weren't thinking deeply enough as far as what they're supposed to do you know he, he it has his own benefits and all that kind of stuff but you know if we just really want to look at it where we should he still needs to be looked at a little bit much more it still needs to be looked at but yeah, right now, you know, we're going into the sortie uh, rescue missions. I am using my limbo right now. Now, one of the things that I also noticed was that uh, during dev stream yesterday when I got home and I watched the thing. Oh, yes. Go ahead and download the game. Now, once again, I will tell you, though, it may this game may make you mad from time to time, but, you know, you will enjoy it. But as I was saying earlier, DE basically they did not deny or confirm the fact that we will be getting Umbra very soon. They just only spoke about, you know, the whole thing being a hack and, you know, apologizing for that information being put out there. But, you know someone's account had an umbra on it and this wasn't on the chinese uh version of warframe this was on the english version of warframe so it it is one of those things where it, I, i'm thinking umbra might be coming maybe sometime towards the end of this year oh man that was that was hard So Umbra might be coming sometime towards the end of this year, but, you know, it's it's one of those things where I'm really not counting on it, mainly because it is DE. And even if Umbra does come out, it's going to be another money grabbing thing for DE. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Good night, potatoes. Yeah. Someone went on and hacked the thing. You know, I I will say, you know, it's a bad thing to hack something, you know, it's not it, it's not good to be hacking somebody else's game and all that kind of stuff, but note to DE, if you had released Umbra when you should have, you know, we we might not have that situation. All right, one second. I got him. I got him. All right, let's. Oh, okay. We still got a. Now I will say the uh, the limbo thing doesn't work as it used to in the past. And they just killed my sentinel. They just killed my um my gen sentinel. Oh, you had an Excal Prime in your game a few days ago? That's awesome. All 
All right. Holy shit. Okay, go, 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 go. Leave me, leave me. Come on. Go, 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 go. Leave me, leave me. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, brought definitely brought the wrong frame. We we yeah, we we messed this up. We really did mess this up. We really did mess this up. We really did. And yeah, we're just gonna come back. We're gonna come back. I I'm bringing Loki next time. I am definitely bringing Loki next time. I was gonna think, you know, we were gonna have at least a Loki on the team, but unfortunately, we did not. But um, I'll bring. Oh, we did have a Loki on the team. Well, I have a disarm Loki, so I don't know how well that is going to work. But you know what? I'm going to bring my Banshee Prime. And my Banshee Prime is basically built for um it's it's built for the extended, you know, extended wave kind of thing let me see what people are bringing okay so we have a loki we have a mirai okay so okay so we're gonna we're gonna go again oh okay equinox sleep there we go there we go there we go last minute Last minute, last minute, I used Equinox. Yep, we win as a team, lose as a team. Why didn't I use a primary weapon? Um, it, it wasn't something that you know I intentionally didn't that you know wanted to do or something like that. It was just a it was a situation in which I played few missions a while back where it doesn't want me to equip my primary weapon and when I actually did I forgot to equip it. So that's why. But I really do use primary we weapons from time to time. I actually use that more often than anything else. Alright, let's go. So I'm using my Vacor Melok. All right, we're stuck. All right. All right, let's move. Right, so we're supposed to go this way. I think there we go. Come on, off. Oh, Damn it. I don't know what that was. If that was a bug or whatever it was. Alright, 
let's move let's move let's hit it all right so and i think uh harrow's first ability might function a little bit like night equinoxes mainly because if you guys uh remember the demo that it showed us yesterday during the death stream so It might function like it. All right. All right. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. Come on. I'm trying my very best to unlock this thing as quick as possible. Okay, is he out? Come on. Is the thing bugged or something? Okay. Woo. There we go. Come on. Let's let's move it. Don't give him a weapon cuz we all know how stupid those operatives can be. All right. I just need somebody to cover me. There we go. There we go. We completed this one. <laughs> Stradiva. Man, I, I I must say that might be one of the most useless weapons in the game to be honest. Amazing design. I mean that weapon looks really really good. B he just had to kill it with the terrible stats. I'll be honest with you guys. Those stats really killed the Stradiva for a lot of people. And, and that's one of those really really crazy things that and crazy decisions that DE makes from time to time. Yeah, that's that that is actually true. If someone carries you, that doesn't mean they will have the best stats. The thing kicked you. Wow, that's All right, what is what is that? Survival? Whoa, wait one second, one second. Let's let me go and change and look at my equipment for survival and see what I want to use for survival. Um, do I want to use Nidus for survival? Or let's see, do I want to use my Chroma? I'll use my Nidus because I've have I've had him, you know, pre-built. Accept, and if everybody is ready, we may begin. And I think the next one I'm, I might use Neja on the next, on the next play. On the next play, I might use Neja. <laughs> Nidus is the creator of Space Aids. Yeah, that is that is one of the really crazy thing. I don't know what it is wrong with uh, Warframe that a lot of times it tends to kick you out. That is that is ridiculously crazy. D he really needs to get in and fix this. You know, it, it's it doesn't make any sense if you invite somebody to come and play with you, and the game ends up kicking them out from time to time. That that is just ridiculous. Right. 
so I'm hoping to get a Raven mod after this. Now, one thing I'm also, you know, quite excited for as far as Deathstream was concerned was that they talk about upcoming Raven mods in the game. So, and with that being said, I'm guessing, you know, they're talking about us getting um, a melee Raven mod very soon. Now, that would be very interesting. There we go. Building my stacks. Building my stacks. I gotta build the stacks. Sometimes I hope for a large and a bigger room where a lot of enemies can just swarm in and you know I can get them all almost all at once. But I guess this one will work as well. So we're we're gonna try to you know gather all the spawn points together. Ah, uh, which mastery rank locks unlocks for Tigris Prime? Ooh, Tigris Prime might be mastery rank fifteen if I am not you know if I'm not wrong. If, unless you unless you're buying it. All right, Cash Forty Seven. Uh, we'll see you later. There you go. Oh, killed my stuff. Killed, killed my sentinel. How dare you? So once again, you know, we we we're we're somewhere there. So if you're just joining in for the first time. You have tuned in to the Out of Fouye channel on YouTube, and we are playing Warframe Sorties. Earlier on, we were playing the Razorback missions, and we were getting some kills, farming some items, getting some Gorgon parts. So right now, we are playing some of the Sorties for the date. So if you enjoy what you see and you like what you're watching right now, go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. And we're going to get back to what we're doing as far as the gameplay is concerned. So. Let's see. You you cannot farm river mods. That's one of the crazy things that, you know, DE did as far as ravens go. Ravens can only be given to you as a reward. Or trade it to you you know and you also have a limited amount of Riven mods that you can collect and hold at the same time which is also a crazy thing oh okay yeah gotcha 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 I totally forgot about that Whoa. Who is that? Yeah, I am really running out of energy. I really need a lot more energy to get this thing going in the direction that I'm hoping that it does. So I'm going to pop off two energy plates right here. And I'm going to also activate my specter. And that is my specter. I have a necros prime specter. So Yes, I am trying uh, I am going to be using Nidus's uh parasitic link. Come on, come on. And there is my necros right next to me right there. And you know what? With this, I think I can use my spe uh, necros specter and take him 
into the captura and one of the things that i'm thinking about is also you know bringing you know ai's such as clam into captura because as we all know clam is the real is the most perfect wingman when it comes to specters in warframe when it comes to specters clam is the wingman he is he is the most amazing one Platinum mine. Hmm. I really do not know what is meant by a platinum mine. Or if you say platinum farming, that will platinum farming will be when people go on into the game and they acquire different and various prime items or various mods that people need in the game and they sell them and you know acquire and gather all their plats together so that will be what platinum farming is so platinum mine okay so platinum mine will be playing raids you said playing raids three times a day wow that is that is a lot Come on, come on, bust them all out. Alright, let's let's go and uh rescue some of our teammates over here. And get them back up. So I'm just gonna do this. So in case any of you guys want some health, that will be your key to getting some health. So I know it's not gonna be that much, but it works a little bit. There we go. So right now I am at 38 stacks. I have built up and acquired 38 stacks as of now. So that is really good. That is really good. That's really good. Really good. Right, come on. All right, let me let me pull this up really quick so it can get some health back. So, okay, we got that. We got that situated. Say you say Nidus is OP. Why did you say Nidus is overpowered? I really want to hear your theory on that. Why is he overpowered? Because I've been hearing a lot of people say that when they're, we're talking about overpowered frames and how, you know, they compare to other frames in the game and which frame is overpowered and which frame isn't. I, I really want to, you know, whoa, do we have, where, he, where is he going? Is somebody dragging him? Okay, where are you? Where is Oh All right, let's Oh, we got to we got to activate a live support right now. So Okay, oh, well, extraction is available, so there's not really a big reason for us to keep on playing in survival on sorties when we are going to ooh radiation well 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 okay where all right 
wow that radiation is really intense like it is it is really heavy it is a heavy radiation like the whole entire place is radiated oh come on okay I still have my necro specter whoever is still alive just go ahead and run for the exit <laughs> oh, he said right there is the reason why Nidus is OP <laughs> alright let's get ready So we're just going to wait here for the next 17, 15 seconds. Well, we're just going to stay here. Now, one of the sad things about radiation in Warframe is that, you know, if you ever play a radiation based mission and somebody brings an ash with a blade storm into so all I got is a uh, greater Unaru lens for all that trouble. That's it, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, if somebody brings the ash into a radiation based mission, that would be the most annoying and ridiculous thing ever. All right. So let's see. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go on and try to um, try to form some more. More Razorback. Let, let's let's go and kill Razorback again. Let, let's go and kill him again. Let's go on and kill the Razorback again um Nemanja Kolik um are you playing on console or are you playing on PC because I am on PC and my in-game name whoa 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 Oh, I am so sorry about that. I was supposed to pick Neja. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so let's let's go ahead. Okay, so I have my Neja right here. And energy conversion. I don't even know why I have that on there. And I don't know why I have pyrocrastic flow on here either. Because that thing doesn't really even work as I expected it to. And I'm just gonna put in something just just to fill in a space to be honest just to fill in a space nothing grand nothing big yes so I will be inviting uh, the rest of the people in few seconds in few seconds guys please bear with me okay so I'm just going for let me let me bring uh, a primary weapon. So I'm just going for a build that is not really you know much of a huge thing when it comes to 
Neja right here. Because I'm just going to be honest with you. I haven't played Neja in a long time. And I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> so, we still waiting. Because we're going to try to go ahead and uh, take out Razorback. So I'm I'm just waiting for Hawk Fang to get here. I am right here in Tyler, Texas. So the Oh yeah, it has a 12 second difference. Oh, I think that is because of the quality of the video. Yes, I haven't streamed in a while. Yeah, so I think because right now my stream, I try, I'm try, i trying to make it as HD as possible. But, you know, if you guys want me to reduce the quality for the next stream, I can do that as well. So, yeah, you know, I can, you know, get that, you know, situated. Uh, let's see. Communication. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Where is... All right, so let's go on. Okay, you don't you want me to leave it on there? Okay, someone says stream on Twitch. So here here's here's a quick question: Which one do you guys prefer? Do you want me to keep on streaming on YouTube, or do you want me to keep on streaming on Twitch? Because, of course, you know, with with Twitch, people say you know the benefits of it. You're able to get you know this PayPal and all that kind of stuff, but you know with youtube i know that's where most of you guys are and that's where a lot of you guys are much have much easier access to which is one of the reasons why i'm still you know doing it on youtube as of now because doing it on on twitch will mean you guys will have to go on and download a twitch app or have to move on to another platform and i don't want you guys to have to do all of that which is why i'm still on youtube as of now so yeah. All right, we have to hack the thing. By the way, if you're wondering um, what I'm using When it comes to my, whoa, if you're wondering what I'm using when it comes to my Rakta Cernos, I am actually using a river mod for it as well. Oh my God. Yeah, I should have brought another frame. But you know what? I haven't played Neja in a long time. So this this could be a really good practice for me as far as, you know, certain frames in the game. Is the Razorback still alive? But yeah, so and you know, even though I remember um, I was talking to someone a while back, and it was saying, "Hey, bro, you know, uh, if you go on Twitch, you can get this, get that." But you know, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with YouTube for now, you know, because it's it's a lot much easier to to upload the videos and have it fixed on here and you know a lot of times as well when it comes to a lot of uh, situations that we go through with YouTube it can be very very nerve-wracking 
however majority of you guys are on YouTube and of course I also keep the uploaded file as far as my videos are concerned so with Twitch that would be very difficult for me to do so yeah and you know I, I didn't like the fact that a lot of the youtubers that I know a lot of them decided to go on Twitch you know it's it, it's one of those you know it's a sad thing but you know but I'm staying here on YouTube plus you know YouTube now has the feature of the super chat so which is one of those things that I believe a lot of people are going on Twitch for anyway you know the whole funding part and the whole PayPal thing so there is super chat now there is a lot of all these different features now on is this okay we got to, we have to hack another one how are you guys doing in the chat are you guys doing great you guys doing amazing Whoa. You guys having fun? I know it's, you know, it's it's Saturday plus the semester is pretty much almost over or already over for some of you guys. So this is an amazing thing for a lot of you. Oh. Yeah, right here it is 12 p.m. in the afternoon, right here where I am in Texas. So that's an amazing... I should have brought my Vectus Prime. That would be one of those one-shot situations. There you go. Oh, there we go. So how was semester for a lot of you guys? Like, are you guys doing, you know, those of you who are in school, are you passing your classes the way you should, you know? How is it going on there? Because I know sometimes being in school can be very, very nerve-wracking. You know, you have exams, you have tests, you have assignments. Oh, shit. All right, let's, let's try to get him up really quickly. Oh. I remember uh, one one of my biggest uh, biggest concerns when it comes to school is that you have a professor or a teacher that gives you maybe two assignments, and then another teacher gives you another assignment, and then another one gives you another assignment, all on the same day. But it comes to my one of the things that I I always wonder: Did it ever come to their mind that? For a lot of these teachers or the, a lot of these professors, you're not the only professor in the only class that I take. All right, let's let, let me try to get this. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Come on. Yeah, even when I have exams too, I think uh, watching YouTube or playing Warframe kind of helps me um, keep calm and clear my mind after, you know, a lot of hours of studying. Either you guys know it or not, you know, a lot of people find YouTube to be very, very therapeutic. All right, let's 
we'll do this. Let's try to see if we can get that up. Uh, I, one thing I will tell you as far as college is that, you know, there is this, you know, popular saying that, you know, you have to go to college or university to be successful and to be great in life. You don't have to go to a university to be great in life. You can whatever you can do, you know, you just got to make sure you make you make up your mind, you know, have a goal, you know, set in mind as far as what you want to do after high school. You know, if you want to learn a trade or if you have a business that you want to, you know, work on, that is fine. That means you don't have to deal with student loans, you know, because a lot of people have to, you know, borrow money to go to college. And, you know, if you don't have, you know, what you really want to go and do in college or if college is not for you, it will be a waste of money if you go to college and rent out, you know, and take a whole lot of money out. So, yeah, that is, you know, that is one of those things, you know. And I got the Gorgon Wraith stock for from this event. I'm really not hyped as far as the, you know, the Razorback stuff is concerned. Okay, so after the event, I got a Orc and Catalyst. And I got some credits. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, but yeah, that's that's one of the things, you know, and I, I, I tell a lot of people about that when it comes to school and all that kind of stuff. But now back to Warframe, back to Warframe. There are a lot of things coming on in Warframe very soon. And one of them, of course, you know, we have shield gating. We have the so-called big, another big update coming on, you know. Um, we have, uh, what else do we have? We have Harrow coming to the game very soon. We have dual wielding coming to the game, which is also an amazing thing that I'm, you know, I can't wait to see, you know, how that goes. Uh, we also have, um, we, we have a whole lot of things coming into the game. We have a whole lot, a whole lot coming into the game. And I can't wait to see what DE do, do with it. And of course, we also have the we have the Chroma rework coming on very soon. You say you dropped out of ninth grade and now you're an electrical engineer. That's an amazing thing, you know. I'm proud of you, man. That's wonderful, you know. It, it's all about going after your dreams and you know doing what you love, you know. Because a lot of times, you know, uh, the way the education system is set up. It would require you and, you know, request that you go to college and all that kind of stuff. But if that is not what you want to do, you know, because I, I, one of the things, you know, that I also tell people, you know, you can learn a trade and actually make money from doing a trade. You know. Oh, yeah. If you uh, if you're doing a 24 hour um, defense stream and I'm not at work, I would definitely be on there. Definitely. If you're doing it and I'm not at work, sure. Definitely. By the way, um, one thing I want everybody to do right now is um, go ahead and type in your in-game name and your your in-game name and your your platform that you're playing on, so that everybody can you know be able to contact each other. And know where each other is, you know, so you can go on and add everybody in the game later on. So go ahead and share in-game names and all that kind of stuff. Well, as far as work, I work for a telecommunications company. So, of course, they say I'm not allowed to, you know, say exactly which one, but I'm just going to put it that way. And, you know, uh, most of them are almost like the same. They, they, A lot of them function in similar ways anyway. So I'm just going to do this and gain back some of my health. And also, you know, share the information. If, if any of you have a YouTube channel, 
share that information as well so you know we can all come on and subscribe because that's one thing that I often do at the end of a lot of streams I go in and subscribe to people's channels so whenever you guys upload a video I'm all I'm right there you know watching every single one of them who okay what is this good job de oh shoot Good job, Mesa. <laughs> you said I bugged the game. That is uh, that is all up to DE. DE are the ones who don't want to fix the game and you know fix what really matters. I would definitely go ahead and subscribe to you, Jack. I would definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, one of the things also is that after the stream, I will have this video uploaded on YouTube as well. So with this video on YouTube, you know, if you guys want to put your in-game information in there as well, you can do so. So, you know, it, it's all up to you. It's all up to you. Whoa. Wrong window. There we go. All right, go down. All right, let me try to hack it really quickly. Come on, go ahead, move. Why is it sitting down? Oh my goodness. Uh, that's just ridiculous. Okay. That's, that's just crazy. Like the whole, the, the, the bursa just stood right there doing nothing. Yep. Oh shit. I'm just gonna stay in this puddle till. All right, there we go. 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 Come on. Let's let's go ahead and hack this really quickly. One thousand plat for three hundred, <laughs> or is that three hundred thousand? All right, so we've we've eliminated Razorback, but he's still there. We go. 
he was still showing on the screen earlier. So now we can go and get out of here. Okay, there's an Orokin cell somewhere. Somewhere around here. Somebody found an or oh there it is. Oh, it's not even that far. There we go. Oh no, you did not. There it is. Took it out. Took him out. Well, I don't know if I did take him out, but somebody did. Yeah, the denial brochure in denial. Yep. Now, also, as far as uh, some of my thumbnails are concerned, I know some people may assume that my thumbnails are set for a clickbait or any of those. I am not trying to clickbait anybody. I just find interesting pictures to use as a thumbnail or something that resembles them a little bit because, you know, I've been getting a lot of things where people say, or, you know, I clickbaited them or something like that. So, no, that is not the intention or the goal of those thumbnails. So if you if you feel some type of way about that, uh, well, a, a little apology for that, you know. But now you know the goal of a really attractive or good-looking thumbnail is not to clickbait you or any of those, but mainly just to have a good-looking thumbnail for something that resembles or looks a little bit like what the main subject of the video is. So, yeah. Just to clarify on that. All right. So, well, that that will be it for this stream, guys. That will be it for this stream because um, I have to go on and get some business taken care of. You know, um, taking care of some obligations and all that kind of stuff so I just got that message right now so but the good thing about it is it's going to be two streams two days in a row so after you know at the end of this stream I'm going to have another stream tomorrow so I will also you know same place same you know right here you know tomorrow's stream might even be longer than this one so you know just to let you guys know um, I just got to take care of some business and take care of some things, but you know, it, it's been a wonderful thing having you guys in here. I really appreciate, you know, the support and the love, you know, thank you very much for being here, you know, and I'm sure, and hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow as well. Black Note, Modi, Gazwan, Raphael, X Heart Angelist, Jack Schist, or Jacksist. I will be sure to go on onto your channel and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I'll come in and check you out. Every single person that was on this stream, I really appreciate it. Andre, George, you know, Michael, I see dead people. <laughs> every single person, Cobin, every single one of you. I really appreciate everything. And thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. Thank you very much. You are really, really appreciated. But yeah, without further ado, that will be the end for this stream. I really thank you guys. So much love. As always, it is DA signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.